Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Really, thank you. Thank you all for joining me today for this momentous occasion where we here at Goulet Pens are embarking on a new frontier that we're calling the Goulet Fountain Pen Hall of Fame. Recognizing significant and meaningful fountain pens that have helped to shape our fountain pen lives and the fountain pen community as a whole. We've been fountain pen retailers and pen enthusiasts ourselves since 2009, and over that time, we've seen a number of pen models stand the test of time and receive love and admiration in the pen community that rise above the rest. Given that there is no official body to dignify such noteworthy pens, we've taken it upon ourselves to do so. And I hope that we'll be able to honor these pens and help all of you watching this to appreciate the pens that help to lead us to an enhanced writing experience. <sighs> okay, we're all having fun here, right? Uh, but no, in all seriousness, uh, this, is a, this is a pretty important video and I do wanna actually set up some ground rules for this whole Hall of Fame thing. Before I get all into it though, I'm pretty uncomfortable, I'm not a suit guy, so I'm gonna use the magic of editing here and make myself a little more comfortable. Shoot, okay, there we go. Now, I recognize that there are countless fountain pen models that span over 150 plus years of commercial manufacturing. We wouldn't begin to consider ourselves experts here on all fountain pens throughout history. Our choices will be coming down from our own experience based as a US online fountain pen retailer specializing in modern pens with a great amount of input and consideration from our own customers, social media followers, and the online community that we've observed since 2009. With all that said, we've come up with three eligibility requirements for us to consider any pen model into our Hall of Fame. And without meeting all three, no pen will even be considered eligible for induction. Now, here are the three requirements. Number one, they must be pens that are currently manufactured. There are numerous historically significant pens no longer made that could be considered under maybe a vintage wing of the Hall of Fame, and we may consider that down the road. But for the time being, we're gonna be focusing on the pens that we know best, which are modern pens. Number two, they must have stood the test of time being commercially produced for a minimum of 10 continuous years. Number three, they must have noteworthy strengths in at least three out of the five Hall of Fame categories. So what are the five categories that we're considering for induction into our Hall of Fame pens? Well, since you asked, I will tell you. Number one, significance. The pen must generate interest, passion, discussion, and enthusiasm in the pen community. There are maybe some positive reviews and endorsements, from fountain pen enthusiasts. It's often regarded as a go-to recommendation to others, and it has a meaningful adoption among fountain pen users. And it may play some meaningful role in the history of fountain pen development. Number two, innovation. It may have introduced technological developments in its filling mechanism, nib design, materials, and the like. It may have influenced the design and functionality of subsequent fountain pens. It could be viewed as a benchmark for other pen models and other brands, with some notable feature that makes it the first pen that people think about when discussing that particular feature. Number three, aesthetics or the form of the pen. The pen may have a distinctive and timeless design that's recognizable to the pen community. It may have unique materials or design elements used in the pen's construction. It may be recognized for its attention to detail, fine craftsmanship, or just its overall form. Number four, utility or its function. It's regarded for its durability, reliability, or build quality, among other pens. It has reliable functionality of working parts, such as cap threads, clip, filling mechanism, etc. It may be considered a good daily carry or workhorse pen, known for being a faithful writing companion. And finally, number five, the writing experience. It's well regarded as a pen enjoyable for writing. It has reliable and consistent ink flow and nib performance. It has a good feel in the hand, nice balance, and overall has a solid reputation for how it performs when actually being used 
for writing. Now, all of this is gonna be fairly subjective, and you're certainly entitled to disagree with what we represent here, and that's okay. Our main goal in establishing this Fountain Pen Hall of Fame is not to show particular favoritism to any one pen or brand, or to disparage others maybe that we're not giving attention to. We just aim to celebrate the pens that have had the greatest impact on the fountain pen community. Now, in order to honor each inducted pen, I've built a display that I'll keep all these pens in, and I'm gonna put it up on the shelf behind me so that I'll have it in future videos as a little Easter egg for you all. And as time goes on, surely I'll need to expand it, but I think our intention here is to induct a small number of pens each year, maybe two to four at the most. So with all the groundwork laid, there is one that I thought would be quite appropriate, especially given that it's celebrating its own 60th anniversary this year, and that is the Pilot Vanishing Point. Going all the way back to 1963, the pen was known as the Pilot or Namiki Capless Pen, at least until 1973 when the name was changed officially to Vanishing Point. There have been several variations on the pen's design, including the click button version popular today, but also a twist retractable and even a clip slide version for a bit. It's been made of various materials over the years, including aluminum, lacquered brass, resin, and stainless steel. Now there's a smaller version known as the Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo, and frankly, I'm not sure if I would consider this to be a different model or maybe just a variant of the vanishing point. But in any case, the click button retractable vanishing point itself stands alone as an iconic pen worthy of this Hall of Fame. So let's talk about the five Hall of Fame categories and which of them the pilot vanishing point meets and why. Significance. The Vanishing Point is highly revered in the pen community, and it's often a go-to fountain pen for anyone wanting an affordable gold nib pen. The iconic design and click retractable functionality is the gold standard by which all other retractable nib fountain pens are compared. It has outstanding reviews in the pen community, and it's likely that most fountain pen enthusiasts have at least one, if not several of these in their collection. Innovation. So in the 1960s, the small flat retractable nib unit in the vanishing point was certainly considered an innovation and one of the most complex mechanisms of its time. Even to today, there's no retractable fountain pen that rivals it. 60 years later, they also began making annual numbered limited edition pens back in 2007 and they've continued that through to today. Other companies have used similar annual limited edition, special editions, or seasonal editions inspired partly by the Vanishing Point's lead. Aesthetics. Now the VP has an incredibly distinctive design. You can show it to just about anyone familiar with fountain pens and they'll be able to tell you what it is even if they don't own one. The sleek look and the impressive range of colors and trims that they've used over the years are noteworthy with well over 60 different variations of this pen, not including regional and retailer exclusives that they've done over the years. Utility. Now this is one area where I think that some could argue that the utility here has some challenges particularly in regards to the ink capacity and the placement of the clip on the grip where it could obstruct your fingers based on how you grip the pen. Now, I freely admit that these are legitimate criticisms. However, I don't feel that they're really enough to keep it from getting high marks in the utility category. I think Pilot does a fantastic job with the low profile of the clip, rounding the edges so you're not touching anything too sharp, and even having a small indent on the sides of the clip right where your fingers are most likely to grab, so that it minimizes any obstruction. Now, while the ink capacity isn't maybe as strong as some other pens and the Con 40 converter certainly has its criticisms, this converter is designed in such a way that it fits all vanishing points and capitalist pen designs going back all 60 years. And that's pretty impressive. Plus the pen takes Pilot Namiki cartridges. And if you want, you can just refill these cartridges and get higher ink capacity than just with the converter. And the fact that the nib unit is replaceable and swappable between other vanishing points and its variants like the Decimo, the VPLS, and the Fermo, it's remarkably practical. The key element that makes this pen such a standout is really its trap door. This door mechanism is the magic that makes the nib retractable in a functional way allowing the nib to seal up and keep it from drying out when it's retracted, and it does so better than any other retractable fountain pen. Any of the criticisms about the VP's design have to be factored into the larger truth of this pen. This is simply the most practical and reliable retractable nib fountain pen, and it really has been ever since it was created. If you want a retractable nib pen, the VP is pretty much in a class by itself. The writing experience. Given the small size of the nib, you might think that the writing experience is where you need to lower your expectations in order to get the practicality of this retractable nib. 
But oh no, you're actually getting a pretty phenomenal 18 karat gold nib in this pen with Pilot's renowned nib performance and consistency. The Extra Fine is one of the finer nibs available direct from a pen manufacturer without requiring like grinding or modification, but it's surprisingly smooth for how narrow it is. Go to the medium and broad nibs, they're gonna flow well and write wet enough for you to get good shading and bring out unique properties in your ink. And there's even a stub that's smooth and delightful to write with. The pen itself takes a little getting used to because of its shape and because of the clip, but few find it burdensome. And the writing experience is as good as you would expect from this highly regarded pilot line. Now I'm giving the Vanishing Point the honor of being the first pen that I induct into the Goulet Fountain Pen Hall of Fame because of its decades of success, its distinct design and innovative technology, and because it excels in what I consider five out of five of the Hall of Fame categories. And while I love many of the more unique pens like the Twilight Limited Edition from 2015, I think that one most fitting for me for my Hall of Fame display is gonna be the Matte Black. This pen was released as a regular edition in 2011, the first year that we were an authorized pilot retailer here. And while we knew the pen was pretty iconic at the time, this matte black color felt like something special when it came out. Since then, it's continually been the best selling VP color for us year after year. And I think it represents both the evolution of this pen into modern times and its popularity and adoption into the larger pen community. Well, I hope that you can celebrate and recognize the vanishing point with me. But of course, like all things fountain pen, it's subjective and there are many opinions out there to be shared. Given that this is a brand new Hall of Fame thing that we're still sort of feeling out about how we want to establish this, I'm open to all feedback and ideas. Let me know in the comments what you think about our qualifications and categories that we came up with and which pens that you think are worth consideration for induction in the future. This is something that we plan to do ongoing. So your excitement around it and engagement with us around this whole Hall of Fame thing will help to shape how we develop it and how much we put into it. Now you can learn more about the pilot vanishing points that we currently have available with more detailed information, pictures, and technical specifications on gouletpens.com and through the multitude of videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Thank you so very much for joining me here in the inaugural Goulet Fountain Pen Hall of Fame. And as always, right on.